Okay, so you've just received your new Gladius drone and you want to get it into the water as soon as possible. In this video, I'm going to run you through from start to finish how to get your ROV up and running. The first thing you'll want to do is attach the Wi-Fi antennas to the buoy and they simply screw onto the device. Secondly, your controller, the buoy and the Gladius should all be around about 50 to 70% charge but if you're concerned that that's not the case, then you can go ahead and charge each of them individually. The controller is charged by USB, a little micro USB cable here, which is included. You can plug that into a laptop or a battery bank. Uh, the buoy is charged by the smaller of the two power packs. And the Gladius is charged by the larger of the two power packs. Now both the Gladius and the Bowie have these little aluminium caps over the charging ports so you can go ahead and unscrew those. To expose the charging port. Just make sure to put the cap back on before you put either of these two back in the water. The next thing you'll want to do is take your controller, expand it and put your controlling device inside whether that's a phone or a tablet. Next, press the little silver button on the buoy. When you do that, the Gladius will start to beep, so just let it do its thing. Next, you'll want to download the IF Dive app from the Play Store. I've already got that installed here. Then on the bottom of your controller, you'll want to set the on-off switch to either Android or iOS depending on what kind of device you're using. So I'll set that to Android and we should see a little blue indicator light showing that that uh, controller is now switched on. If we navigate to the settings in our phone and into Bluetooth, we should be able to scan for and locate the HG N Pro controller device. So go ahead and tap on that and then press the pairing button on the controller. Okay, so it looks like we're connected to that Bluetooth device as an input device. Next, you'll want to come back to your settings menu and navigate into Wi-Fi. And it might take a few minutes, but shortly you should see the Gladius 2.4G network pop up and you can go ahead and connect to that. The default password is going to be 12345678. Alright, great, so it looks like we're connected now. Now we can come back to our main menu and launch the IF Dive app. Now at this point, if you're using an Android device, you might encounter a message saying something about um, in, in enabling Bluetooth accuracy. Uh, so to do that, you'll want to come back to your settings menu, scroll down until you find location, and you'll want to set your mode to high accuracy, and under improve accuracy, you want to turn Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning on. Once you've done that, you can exit the IF Dive app and then relaunch it. If you've done everything correctly and you're connected to the buoy by Wi-Fi, you should be able to uh, hit the blue start button and we'll start to see a video image from the ROV as well as the HUD and all the relevant information there. Now at this point, or perhaps a few minutes on, you might be prompted to download some firmware for the Gladius if it is brand new. So when you're presented uh, with that uh, message, you'll need to disconnect from the Gladius Wi-Fi network, connect to your regular Wi-Fi network, uh, reopen the app and follow the instructions to download the firmware. Once the firmware has been downloaded, you'll then want to reconnect to the Gladius Wi-Fi network and again follow the prompts to start installing that firmware. 
it's probably going to restart the drone at least a couple of times so don't worry about that it's probably going to take about five minutes maximum uh, and then you should be all set so once you've done that uh, you're ready to put the Gladius in the water and start using it so go ahead and familiarize yourself with the controls as well as the various uh, options in the settings menu and for more information and suggestions on using the controls and getting started in the water, go ahead and check out my other videos where I walk you through what all of the different buttons do and how to start learning to drive the drone underwater. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.